now that we're stuck doing Zoom calls for recruiting, we're, we're, we're really selling the fact that we are improving players. And, and when they come here, they get better. And, and certainly, I think one of the reasons, uh, you know, PlaySight is a big part of that. Well, Coach, first of all, thanks for taking some time. It's good to see you uh, safe and sound there in your basement. Let's do MTV Cribs to start. Uh, got some tennis decor. I like that. Uh, thanks. Uh, I think my house has always had tennis decor in it. Yeah, it goes, <laughs> goes with the territory, right? That's right. What, what has this time period been like? Season cut in half, spending obviously a ton of time at home, trying to communicate with your team, particularly with the international uh, members that you have and all the complexities that that added to the situation. Just what have the last couple of months been like for you? I think it's been a little bit surreal. You know, we we uh, we were about to play uh, Louisville. They were here in Blacksburg and practicing on our courts, and they kept telling me that their AD was maybe calling them home. And I, it's just hard to believe that that actually happened back in March. You know, and that that our season ended. And I think it's been hard for us to sort of navigate. You know, with our seniors, we had three seniors that, you know, season were, was cut short, and we had you know very high goals for the year and. Uh, so it, it's been a tough time for sure for all of the guys and for all for all the coaching staff as well. You have five countries represented in your program. What was it like for those players to try to get home? How many were able to get home? Um, and I, I trust that everyone is able to find a place to be safe. So we've actually had several of them that have uh, stayed in Blacksburg and been here the whole time. I mean, uh, one of our uh, juniors from Italy, you know, Italy was one of the hardest hit countries uh, and he was really not able to go home, um, which was sort of tough. I mean, his mother was calling, uh, just trying to really, it was really hard, hard because she was very um, concerned about his well-being and her, her un, uh, inability to get him home, you know, and uh, so uh, she, she's been, um, you know, super, uh, communicative with me about it. And, um, you know, so, so he's here, we have two Australians that have stayed here. One of the boys on the team had had shoulder surgery and, um, really couldn't go home because he would have been quarantined for 14 days or whatever, without being able to do any of his rehab and would have really set him back a lot. So he's been able to stay here and continue to do his physical therapy, um, and then we've had, uh, you know, one or two of the others that lived off campus that just stayed and, and finished out the semester online here in Blacksburg. So it's been uh, one of the boys went with his girlfriend home and then kind of got stuck there. And so it's kind of interesting. Um, I think our Portuguese guy was he, he got he was really smart and list, was listening to the flight instructions that were happening. And he got one of the last direct flights into Portugal. So he was he, he made it in and just in time to get back home. How have you had to transition from coaching these guys on the tennis court and in their studious activities here in Blacksburg to some of this more major life navigating type stuff? It's been a shift because I certainly have spent a lot more time on the courts uh, in the past and, and recently haven't been on the tennis courts at all. And so it's been from that point of view, been a big change, but you know, I've got really good mature guys. They do, they're studious. They work hard in the academics. They've done, they've done really well academically this semester and from what I've heard with their grades. And so it hasn't been difficult to communicate with them. They're, they're, they're just great people and, and uh, good students. And, um, but I think they're, they've been down a lot for, for, for lots of reasons, different things, you know, graduation being canceled or, um, you know, not seeing their friends here at the end or not getting to compete in, uh, maybe, you know, achieve some of the goals that they set forth. But um, yeah, that, but we have, we have a really good group and, and close, close uh, ties with them all. And so it's been, it's been okay. We've gotten on some zoom calls and done some of this, that kind of thing, which kind of keep them, keeping them all together and keeping them, I uh, hope to, hope to get them a lot of them back for next year, actually. Yeah, I was going to say, since it was an interrupted spring season, another year of eligibility, it sounds like Mitch Harper will return. Not quite sure with Henrik just yet, and, and Alex will move on. But how will that, from an overall standpoint, impact the direction of the program where you're going? 
Well, I think anytime you can, you know, potentially put your one, two, and, and, and even Alex, I haven't ruled out yet. He's, he's, he's got some other options on the table, but we're still in talks and he, he may end up back here in Blacksburg as well. I mean, he loves it here as well. And, um, but anytime you can add those, if, if we can add a two of the three, at least, um, I think it's going to have a big impact on our program and certainly set us up for a, a great year next year. We, we thought we had a very good team this year we had a couple of injuries and a couple of different things happen but um you know I, I think next year could be could be our year you know to be very very competitive in the league speaking of that league coach just how much of a grind is acc tennis for those that aren't accustomed to it well it's it's for sure the best league in the country in terms of uh i think five out of the last six national champions have come from our league so if if you're winning our league you're certainly in contention for the national title, I would like to think. And um, I, I think, you know, we've been in the, you know, around the four, five, six range every year. Um, and I don't think it's a big difference to, to get into that next group. Um, certainly adding Mitch Harper, who's healthy and, and you know, he, he went 10 and 0 this spring for us, uh, you know, after having coming off a, a missing a season with a, and having a short, uh, wrist surgery. Um, and then Henrik has just improved so much since he's been here. Um, you know, if we, if we get those two guys back and can kind of add them again in our mix, we have a, an awesome class coming in already so, signed a kid out of New York and a kid out of Charlottesville. And those two guys are really good. And we have an, uh, we have the chance to have two more guys that we are, we are in talks with that we think will join us uh, either in August or January. So I, I think next year is going to be a really good year for the Hokies. <laughs> People will love to hear that, Coach, that's for sure. How appreciative are you, and how much does it help you push things forward that Virginia Tech allows you to innovate at the, at the tennis center there with things like the play site cameras and just constantly allowing you to push the envelope? Well, I think Virginia Tech's been super supportive in that that mission. You know, I mean, we, we sort of certainly are not uh, known for our super warm weather in Blacksburg, and so – you, you kind of have to create opportunities where you can. And, um, you know, with the play site was one of those things back, I don't know, seven or eight years ago now um, that my assistant at the time, Stephen Huss helped, you know, uh, push for, and we, we, we felt like it could give us a big edge in the recruiting. Um, I know now that we're stuck doing zoom calls for recruiting, we're, we're, we're really selling the fact that we are improving players and, and when they come here, they get better. And, and certainly I think one of the reasons, uh, you know, play site is a big part of that has played a big part of that. And um, you know, you, you just on the cutting edge of trying to get people better. I mean, we also do a great job in the weight room. I mean, there's, there's lots of reasons, but that Virginia tech's been super supportive with the, the technology side of it. We're, we're, we were the first school in the country to put play site on all six courts um, and we are, you know, one of the, we were the first uh, school to also to do what they call a play fair match where the computer actually, you can go to the computer to make sure the line calls were correct. And so it's pretty exciting to be on the cutting edge and to think that Virginia Tech supports that. I mean, that's kind of our school, school motto, right? I mean, we, we, we're trying to invent the future. 